hey, you are developing apps on ClickSense for Windows environments. And when you're done, you want to update the design to a couple of apps at once, not changing the data. That sounds familiar to you. Then you need the Data Bridge Hub. My name is Christoph and I'm happy to show it to you. Let's see. First of all, you go to slash extensions slash data bridge slash hub.html. Here on the left, it connected to the QRS API and to Enigma, the engine API wrapper for JavaScript. And it also checks for a data connection and for your roles. For this hub to make sense, you need to have root admin or content admin roles. And let's assume I've developed in my work a beautiful app and I've provided a new version of it. So I drag this app here and here it happens to be a stream. It's called NeoTest. And here are all instances of this app. And now I'm done with a new design. And I will select all those apps. And I say, give me the miracle. That's why it has a magic wand here. And it asks me, okay, what to replace from the 28 selected destination apps. And I say, well, only the design. Well, wait a minute. I also changed the script. Okay, a combination of design and script. You can do all of it data design script. This is what you can also do in the QMC. That's what you have out of the box. It's just publish and replace an app. That's an easy one. And you see all the steps that it takes previewed here at the bottom. So 28 publish and replaces. But when it comes to only publishing parts of the app, like design and script, it's becoming more difficult. And while we do that, okay, after the script has been refreshed, well, also trigger a reload of the target app after copying and add a tag because the next time I want to go here, I've just published the design um, version 2 and let's start. And it's starting with the first app and it now it will continue. So there are a couple of steps. You can see some are engine API called Enigma, some are QRS API. It takes a binary copy of the destination app. So this is the only way to keep the data while refreshing it afterwards. And each of this combination has a different logic. Um, not a trivial thing, but this does it very well. So let's do a fast forward a bit. So while this is reloading in a loop, Two more pieces of information. You can copy this URL that shortcuts exactly that settings of the source app and the target app and what you want to inherit into a URL that you can call. So without dragging, dropping and making all those selections straight into this screen. And secondly, we're using the tag in order to mark the successful completion of the refresh. If the browser gets interrupted for some reason, you can continue the untagged apps with a refresh later. So and now we are done, we can close this window and let me show you a few other cool things of the DataBridge Hub. So when you click on one of these icons, you can make me an owner instantly. You can investigate into the script without being the owner. In this case, it has to make a copy of the app to get the script. You can investigate quickly the number of tables, how many rows, how many fields this has. You can open a sheet, any of it. So let's go to this sheet real quick. It will open in a single mode, which means it also works on QAP licenses in case you have one. And um, it allows you to duplicate the app to trigger an ad hoc reload in the background, also doing it with QRS API and um, a few things more like setting or removing tags. And it also allows you to upload a new app if needed. And it publishes the app instantaneously here. And what you also can do is you can unpublish an app, something you don't even have on the QMC. So if you unpublish the app, it will afterwards go into the My Work stream and you will see it's here. The app has been unpublished. All this is packed into the DataBridge Hub, which we give away in this version for free with the only limit that without a license, you can only replace free apps at a time. So I think I've showed you most of the cool features of this free version of the DataBridge Hub. It goes side by side with the QMC and we have extended the features that the QMC is not able to deliver. 
I hope you have good fun and stay safe in these difficult times. This is Christoph from DataBridge. See you soon. <music>